All righty guys, more medic one here and we are going to start working on this uh, PB770T backpack blower engine. We're gonna be replacing the crankshaft in it. So without further ado, I'm gonna kind of walk you guys through that process. Uh, first thing we need to do, and since we are saving this engine, we're just going to loosen the bolts that hold the jug on. They're just a T27. And I've already got them loosened up as you can tell. Here's the kicker. We aren't going to take the jug all the way off. We want to save this engine the best we can. So we're just gonna slide this jug up enough just to clear the wrist pin. Leave the rings intact. Don't pull it all the way off. carefully without trying to lose them. Squeeze it and pull it out. Put your finger over it so it don't try to pop out. And then you can get them out pretty darn easy. Flip it over, do the same thing. Remember, snap ring pliers are your best friend when it comes to these little bitty microscopic clips. Okay, now with this engine being new, this wrist pin should come out pretty daggum easy. I'm just using a quarter inch. Oh yeah, it's just, I'm barely tapping. Don't drive it. Don't whack it hard. Just barely tap it. drive the pin all the way out you want to drive it just enough to where you can separate the piston from the connecting rod careful not to lose your wrist pin bearing and the thrust washer there's one on the other side right here as well pay attention the way these come off it's got a recess and it sits in the bearing just like this now if you want to go ahead and just tap that wrist pin back down into the piston and then slide the piston back up into your jug so that nothing gets harmed. You're not gonna scratch the piston, nothing like that. Shove your holes full of rags or put tape over it and put tape or shove the back side of this full of rags. So this part, you're not gonna mess with for a while. So just put it in a safe place, the cylinder and the piston. Now we have our connecting rod and our crankshaft assembly. When you buy a new crank, it's gonna come with a new rod, rod bearing, and crank. So to get this crank out, we have to split this crankcase. And to do that, we have to take these four screws out right here.
since this crank is junk, it's gonna be okay. We're gonna tap on into the crank right here. one of the case halves off. Give it just another couple taps if it's got a little bit of junk around the piston or the crank. And here we have the case half with the bearing. Lastly, we're almost out. Now we can tap the crank to get it the rest of the way out. Our gasket has been compromised right here. So we're gonna go ahead and replace this gasket for the case halves. And there we have it. There is your crankshaft assembly right there. And there's the screwed up keyway. And once I get a new crank in, I'll show you guys how to do it. We're gonna put the new crank in the freezer and then I'm gonna hit these bearings with a heat gun and it'll just slide right on. Hey guys, hey, we got that crankshaft out of that PB770T with ease. Hey, if this content helps you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there, subscribe and click the bell to get all my new videos. Y'all have a good rest of your day. More Medic One.